one day I was at home and I was procrastinating doing homework and you guys know exactly what that's like. Because I still, well, I did it all the time. And at the time I was sitting at home and I wanted to listen to music on YouTube. And you guys know whenever you look on YouTube and then there's like a right hand column of like related videos. Well, that's what I saw. And when I looked a little bit closer, I realized that there was a picture that looked really, really familiar on the related column. So I clicked on it, not knowing that me clicking on this little picture that I thought was me would change my life completely. I didn't know it would be a defining moment in my life when I clicked on that video. What's the video? I clicked on it. The first thing I saw was, okay, yes, that is my picture from when I was 11 years old when I was on that show. I looked a little bit above this video and the title of this video was The World's Ugliest Woman. I want you to take a second and let that sink in. Think how that would feel if you are randomly just listening to music, you somehow see a picture of yourself and someone lab labels you the world's ugliest man or the world's ugliest woman. Just think how that would make you feel. Now picture yourself scrolling down after seeing this awful, awful video. And picture how you would feel if you looked down and you saw that over four million people had saw this video. Four million. I continued to scroll down and I saw that this video was eight seconds long. I pressed play and there was no sound. And I thought there's an eight second video with no sound that over four million people saw of only me calling me the world's ugliest woman. I literally felt like somebody was putting their hand through the computer and punching me over and over and over. I still to this day don't know why I did this, but I scrolled down and I saw that there were thousands and thousands and thousands of comments on this eight second video that had no sound. I sat there and I read every single one and not one was positive, not one. These comments ranged from people telling me to do the world a favor and just put a gun to my head. Some were saying, why don't you just walk out of your house with a bag over your head? Because if people see your face, they're going to go blind from your ugliness. People were giving me tips on how to kill myself. I was in high school when I saw this. The video clip was from when I was 11 years old and it said it. Clear as day on this video, it said 11 years old. And I couldn't understand how anyone, no matter what age, could think how to just jump on this bandwagon and say these awful, awful things, not knowing that I would one day somehow stumble upon it. I cried my eyes out reading these comments. My confidence level went from being up here to being way down here to almost not even existent. And I feel like it took me a really long time to get to that point. In an instant, it was brought down completely. My tears quickly turned to anger. I quickly wanted to just wipe the tears off my face pull out the keyboard and reply back to every single comment. I didn't know what I was going to tell them, but I just wanted to make them feel bad. I wanted to make them feel bad for hiding behind their computer screen and saying these awful things about someone that they don't even know. 
But then I stopped and I realized, what am I going to accomplish? What am I going to do if I sink down to their level? Nothing. I'm going to be fighting a never-ending battle that's going to prove nothing. I'm just going to become one of those people that hides behind their computer screen and makes fun of other people or makes other people feel bad about themselves. And that's not who I was raised to be. So I stopped and I had a very hard time swallowing this video. A very hard time, I'm not going to lie. But something clicked in me, some little voice in the back of my head, which I know is God. And I heard, just wait, let it go. Just let it go and wait. And that's what I did. I let it go, and yes, it was very hard for me to kind of pick myself up from that. Very difficult. But I did what my parents told me when I was in kindergarten. They said, just continue to be yourself, and others will see that. So that's what I did. I continued high school. Everything was wonderful, despite this video. I was excited to meet new people. I was excited to start this new journey in my life. And without even trying, my life kind of started, everything kind of just started falling into place. My relationship with God was better than ever. Because in that moment when I realized that I wanted to be a speaker, I was like, God, I get you now. I get it. I'm st I still have some questions. But I get it. You made me the girl that I am for a reason. You gave me all those struggles growing up to make me stronger. You made me look different so that I could see the beauty that isn't defined by the media. And yes, I am still learning. But the feeling that I get that I know that God is working through me and helping me tell you something is the greatest feeling in the entire world. But all these things were something that I cannot take credit for on my own. I cannot. The only way that I was able to accomplish all of those things and will be able to continue for the rest of my life is with my faith, my family, and my friends. My faith is number one in my life. And I think that God gave me this syndrome before I looked at it as a giant flashing sign that said curse. I look now at what God gave me on this billboard and I see a giant bright, happy sign that says blessing. And I will always look at it as a blessing. All the questions that I had, all the whys, all the why me, why God did you do this to me, have all been answered. And I've learned to stop asking why. Because I've learned that God does absolutely everything for a reason. And you have to basically just lay it all down and let God take care of it. Because he will, whether you see it or whether you don't. You will eventually be so surprised and think, thank you, God. Before you have this problem, he already knows how he's going to help you get through it. How great of a feeling is that whenever I do things I get excited because I know that God is going to be there to help me God is going to be there to pick me up when I'm down and to lift me even higher when I'm excited I will tell you right now that if you stop asking why and if you start saying thank you God all your answers will come to you. All of them. I want to thank you for having me, for listening to my message, and I hope, I hope that some of you know that God put you here for a reason, and he wants you to share 
that reason, no matter what. Thank you.